Outside of their union at Holy Trinity Church, nothing about Angelique and Jan Hendrik de Burr's relationship is traditional. Being married is supposed to be easier. So we decided while he was here, I extended his trip by another two weeks. And I guess you could say we eloped. I mean, my parents are both pastors. We're here in their church or in my dad's church at least. The long distance lovers met on a blind date in Botswana. Five years later, he popped the question in the Queen City. Almost a year into their marriage, immigration issues pausing plans. Life is on hold right now. Um, it really is because there's not really much we can plan for. Nearly 8,000 miles apart and a six-hour time difference, their computer love continues. The couple filed an I-130 with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, the first step in a long process for green card holders to bring their spouses to America. With only five processing centers, it could take until 2024. We've spent thousands trying to see each other and be together, and we did this because... I mean, we're best friends and I would do anything to be with him, but there's nothing I can do. It's completely out of my hands. They aren't alone. Hundreds of thousands of families are in limbo. USCIS has an app where people can see their status, but details are vague. We consult with people on a daily basis and families on a daily basis. So daily we have to tell people I mean, that this process is going to take a while. We're hopeful as the government kind of gets back to normal, that they will get through the backlog and they will speed back up. Charlotte immigration attorney Mercer Cauley says USCIS is fee-based, meaning additional staff could mean higher processing fees. I don't think people understand the process that immigrants have to go through to get here and that the hoops that they have to jump. For, for instance, if a brother or sister is a US citizen, files for a brother or sister, Right now, for a visa to become available, it's taking about 11 years. And Angelique hopes officials make changes to help keep families together. I just wish that there was a way that we could get better communication back and forth, or you know, if there's something missing or if there's questions, not to just let it sit there on a desk. It would just be great, to, or more centers that we're able to process. I mean, we're at record high numbers of immigration right now.